The game viewing took place in the most northerly part of the large Chobe National Park in Botswana. This area is marked in the south by a tar road and in the north by the Chobe River, which also forms the border with Namibia. This is the fifth day of the Chobe Safari in the northern part along the Chobe River. So far, good sightings. So let's see what today has in store for us. It was quite warm yesterday with 37 degrees and probably the same temperature today. Makes it difficult for the animals definitely in the afternoon where they rather lie in the shade than walking about. What a surprise! An African wild dog lying in the road. Normally they occur in a pride. It wasn't for too long that it got up and disappeared perhaps in the direction of the pride. Prey luries are hated by hunters. When approaching a prey they make a noise which alerts the animal and make it run away. The green-backed heron is considered to be part of the dwarf herons. As so often in Africa there are many types of birds belonging to the same species. That how it is with dwarf herons. Highly concentrated and motionless, it waits at the edge of the water, neck retracted. This acts like a pretensioned spring which makes the neck jettison forward to catch the prey, occasionally supported by a jump. Redfield's hornbill is one of the types of hornbills. Hornbills find their food regularly on the ground. One can spot them also sifting through the dung of an elephant looking for morsels of food. It is difficult to establish the sex of guinea fowls. One indication is the length of the helmet on top of the head. Roosters have a much longer helmet than hens. In Southern Africa, nine different species of Franconine or spur fowls exist, of which three occur in Botswana. The cock of the swines and spur fowl carries a large spur at the rear of its feet, which is missing with the hands. These two birds are clearly hands. A group of sub-adult impalas. Named after the spur at the round edge of the frontal part of the wing which is used when fighting. Next to the riverbed of the Chobe River, 
One can find indentations in the terrain, the water levels of which are determined by the water level of the river. Large bodies of water are formed there. These are ideal ponds for birds to find food. The water puddles can reach dimensions which even small crocodiles use. At the larger ones of these ponds, one can spot a multitude of bird species. A paradise for photographers. Here, for example, one can spot a black heron, an African spoonbill, a sacred ibis, a great egret, a little egret, an African jacana, a black-winged stilt, and a squacko heron. Open-billed stork is a specialist in catching water snails and just now it caught one. It takes a while until its specially formed beak cracks the shell of the snail open. But then the snail is extracted from the shell and swallowed whole. This elephant bull shows what it has to offer, but what it cannot hide is the depth it has been walking inside the water. Similar to the European wild boar, the warthogs enjoy a mud bath. The layer of mud assists keeping parasites and ticks at bay. Due to its short neck, the warthogs prefer not to bend down too much and like grazing on their knees. The Namibian side of the Chobe River consists of a shallow shore and an adjacent very extensive grazing area. Here the area is used by a group of zebras, accompanied by some cattle egret and attended to by some ox packers.
a large group of kudus of varying ages. These are cows and young bulls with still short horns. The dominant bull has underpinned its position in the hierarchy by having pushed its horns into the mud. Now the mud is decorating its horns. A group of young giraffe grazing under the watchful eyes of the cows. Giraffes are browsers and strip leaves off the branches of bushes and trees. It doesn't seem to bother them that many bushes on trees in Africa carry thorns. One explanation could be that the tongues of the giraffe don't feel pain. Cory Bustard is the heaviest flying bird in the world. It can be as tall as 1.5 meters, while the hen is usually 20 centimeters shorter than the cock. The latter can weigh as much as 19 kilograms. Similar to the birds, there are many types of mammals belonging to the same species. The Chobi National Park boasts of six different types of mongoose. One of them is this banded mongoose. They usually occur in large groups. <laughs> 